new additions to Wildlife World Zoo are new baby sulcata tortoises. These are sulcata tortoises from Northern Africa in the Sahara Desert. They start off about the size of a golf ball, but this is the third largest species of tortoise in the entire world. In about 20 years, this little guy is gonna be 250 pounds. Tortoises are closely related to turtles, but there's one very big difference, and that's going to be where they live. Turtles are aquatic, so you'll find them swimming, while tortoises are not aquatic at all. In fact, they can't swim because their shells are way too dense. At this point in their life, they're just cruising around, getting lots of exercise, building up their muscles to carry around their shell. Their shell's gonna grow right along with them for their entire lives, so they have to build up these strong leg muscles in order to move around. They also love eating. are herbivores, so they eat different types of plants, fruits, and vegetables. And because they get so much natural water from the food they eat, they can go for three months without ever actually drinking water. It's a great survival skill to have, especially if you're a desert dweller like this little guy. They've also got these cute, tiny little feet, and if you look at the front, you'll notice all these little sharp points almost look like extra toenails. The another name for the sulcata tortoise is the African spur tortoise, and that's where those little pointy parts come from. Here in Arizona, we have their cousins, the Sonoran Desert Tortoise, and they're very similar to these guys, especially in the fact that they live a really long time. On average, these tortoises can live for about 100 years, and so can their desert cousins right here in Arizona. Guests who get to see our baby tortoises just think they're so adorable. They're so tiny, they're cruising around, having a good time animals because every single animal is completely unique in their own way. They're so fascinating and every single animal plays a really important role in our natural ecosystem. Now you know our baby sulcata tortoises, one of many cute animals of Arizona you can find right here at Wildlife World Zoo. Meet Crockett, he is one of our California sea lions. Topo. I am one of the sea lion trainers here at Shipwreck Cove. Crockett is one of our male California sea lions, so they can weigh anywhere from six to 900 pounds when they are fully done growing. He is only seven years old, so he's not quite fully done growing. He weighs about 400 pounds. Right now, Crockett is getting 22 pounds of fish each and every day. Questions we often get asked is what the difference is between seals and sea lions. So you can see that Crockett has little external ear flaps. That's one of the differences. And then another difference is those really large front flippers that he has. Good boy. Crockett and I, we have been working together for just over a year, but he is an incredible animal and so our training is really based on that trusting relationship that they have with us and building that up so that they are really comfortable doing all of the different behaviors that we ask of them. We do training sessions that are husbandry based, so asking Crockett to participate in his own healthcare, doing things like asking him to open his mouth so we can get a good look at his teeth, or asking him to lie flat on the ground so that he can participate in things like voluntary blood draws. We also do really fun sessions with him too, so Crockett knows how to wave. Crockett, wave! Good, Crockett! And that just helps us keep them physically stimulated as well as mentally stimulated throughout the day. We call them dogs of the sea. They're super friendly, and Crockett especially is one of our friendliest animals. Yeah, you're a good boy. Crockett is an excellent showman. Crockett really seems
seems to enjoy being the center of attention. Whenever we have people down in our stadium area, he is always willing to hang out. Even right now, he's just being such a ham and hanging out with us and enjoying all of the attention and the love that he gets each and every day. Target. Wave! Good boy! Meet Bebop, she's a prehensile tailed porcupine. My name is Bree, I'm an education keeper, so this is my job. I get to work with all of the animals that are in our education setting. This is not an animal that you would see in Arizona. She is from South America. And like any species, these guys are always needing our help. Now, they are a least concerned species, which means they're not endangered. She loves holding hands. These guys can get up to anywhere from four to 11 pounds. Now, Bebop is actually over three pounds right now, so we think she's definitely gonna be one of the bigger sizes. They love to eat fruits and veggies, so we wanna make sure we save as much vegetation as possible for them. Something special about these guys is their fantastic prehensile tail. Prehensile means that she can hold with it. It's basically like an extra hand. If she needed to, she could even hang upside down by her tail alone. Bebop is very sassy. Bebop has one of the strongest personalities I've ever seen in a porcupine. A lot of times we'll be like, hey, you wanna come out? And she'll be like, mm-mm. And we'll be like, okay, that's fine. And sometimes she's so excited to come out that she doesn't wanna go back. I've been with her since she was a tiny baby. Uh, the first time I held her, she could fit in the palm of my hand. So she definitely recognizes me as well as her other keepers. And she'll come up and she'll let us give her nose kisses. She'll let us boop her nose a little bit. She does have the squishiest little nose in the world. Now you know Bebop, she's one of many cute animals here at the Wildlife World Zoo.